What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to prevent Call of Duty Modern Warfare from randomly crashing on your system. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. If your system meets the minimum system requirements to play the game, then I suggest you to first of all make sure that your video driver is up to date. You can expand to the description below to access the newest Nvidia, AMD and Intel drivers. Or, you can also use the driver program, in my case the GeForce Experience application. After clicking on download in a driver tab, the program will automatically install the update. When this is done, you can also change some custom settings in the detailed section of the game in your driver program. Here, simply select the wrench icon and you will be able to set this slider to performance and set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. Next. Open up your NVIDIA control panel, or AMD equivalent, and go to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Here, select to add a program to customize and select Call of Duty Modern Warfare from this list. Here, make sure to set the CUDA setting to your main GPU and the Power Management mode to prefer maximum performance. Close this window after applying your changes and open up Modern Warfare. After launching the game, navigate to your graphics settings and select to restart shaders installation. While your shaders are being reinstalled, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here, in the processes tab, right click Modern Warfare and select to go to details. In the details section, the Modern Warfare.exe process should be highlighted. Make sure to set its priority from high to normal to prevent the game from crashing if you are using low end or moderate components in your system. I also suggest you to end the programs from running in your task manager which could show an overlay while playing the game. In my case that would be Discord, Steam, GeForce Experience and so on. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.